Good evening, good afternoon, whatever it is for you guys. Today, as I promised last time, last time we went to the track and we didn't film it, well, today I'm filming some of it. So today's goal is to do a bit more tuning on the fuel map, adjust some of the ignition timing, and uh, try to see what we can do on the eight pounds of boost. So if everything goes well with the eight pound of boost, the goal is to maybe raise it to 12, 14, 15 pounds or whatever we can do and see what it runs on the track. That being said, we are running on 17 inch rims, which are 205, I believe. Yeah, 205, 45, 17. So not necessarily the best thing for the track, however, we're still tuning as it is right now. We're not making any crazy passes. We're not competing against anyone. This is more or less have fun. Make sure that the car doesn't break. Make sure that the run. Make sure that the car runs good, and that's all I really want. So I'll be at the track in a few minutes. Hopefully, we're going to be able to catch some passes before it gets dark, and I'll see you guys in a bit. So I'm not sure if you guys see a lot, but this is the track all along. You have a motorcycle that's running right now. I'm not sure how much you're gonna be able to see on the camera because I can't see much on the little screen, but this is the little dirt road that follows the entire track and brings us to the entrance. So we're gonna be going towards the back, then park on the side, load the car off the trailer and see how many people there, there are. It uh, doesn't seem too, too busy, so I think that we're going to be able to get several passes in. So, quite exciting. Let's get to it. We have our buddy James, Mark's buddy, that is going to be racing tonight. His uh, Golf TDI, he wants to try it on the track, so we'll see what this stock car makes. So, what she's going to do right now, she's going to tag the number. He's going to have to pay lots of cash to get in. And then it's my turn. We'll get Mark to do a bit of... Uh, working come on mark faster 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 gonna make a fast wait <laughs> race first eat after oh okay <laughs> so here we have the track it's really not busy today so that's kind of good so we're gonna be able to make tons of passes it's a cool afternoon so we'll see what we get out of these passes Getting the thing off the trailer. Oh, uh, door? That's how it used to be. You didn't tighten the belt, did you? God damn it, Mark. What do you mean, God damn it, Mark? You had, one you, you had all day. You're the one that said last time we need to fix this. Yeah, I did say so. And, you and did you do, do it? it? No. Oh, that, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's... Uh, do you guys always bicker like this or what? Uh, yes. All right. We, we call it talking. Oh. It's, it's our thing. Okay. <laughs> All right. Nope. Um, you're gonna need pry bar to pull it up. Uh, How did we do it we last time? We don't have a pry bar. What do you mean we don't have, you have to have a pry bar. No, nope. not in my truck. Okay, close this. All right, let's get this thing off. Are you gonna be okay with this? You want me to lift the fender? Pull your door. There you go. Just making sure. There's a bike coming. Yeah, yeah, you're good. You're not gonna, yeah. Perfect. Sorta. Of. Here. Where you going? Just gonna 
let it warm up? <laughs> Way too rich on the low end. So the guy with the Evo did 13.6 at 102. I did 15 flat at 100 <laughs> at 99.72. So the miles per hour is there. I just, with these tires, I can't get traction. It just spins, it just spins. So what I'll do is I might lower the tire pressure just a bit more and try to launch it by loading it. So we'll see what happens. Not sure if you guys can see in the uh, 
in the uh, GoPro, but the oil light started flickering when I was on the track. Now it's flickering just a bit, but I'm getting very good oil pressure, so I don't know if it's just the, uh, yeah, I don't know, it bogged a bit too, 15 flat at 96. It's kind of weird, because it is hitting the uh, 8 pounds of boost, I don't know, I'll we'll have to take a look. oil light came on and it started flickering uh, oh, that I don't know but I I have oil pressure okay But it's still slow 14 7 I should be much better than that did a lot of boost but I slow shifted and I bobbed so if ever I gun the gears should be able to drop it by quite a bit if ever I two-step it that should help as well so I'll take the check the tire pressure once again and uh, see what we see what we get picked up like a lot <laughs>
holy shit. Okay, so it's getting, it's getting there, it's getting faster. It's getting so much better, 14.4. That means, and it's at, holy fuck, at 98. So when we did the 102, we could have brought that down by a lot. Did a two, three, sixty foot, very slow. So there's there's some potential in this. There's some stuff that we can do. So give it a, a little cool down and go again. So as you guys can probably see, I'm currently editing the videos from last night. Stayed there for a few hours. I think we had a blast. I think that I have maybe six or seven passes in the video. In total, I think that I made nine. Everything went well from a perspective that the car hold it up. So I'm really happy with that. Can't ask for much more than just being able to have a test and tune night and leave with the car fully functional with no problem. So super happy about that. Super happy about um, the progress that we have made. Last time we went to the track and I didn't film, we managed to go from no tune, just basically air fuel ratio issues, boost cut and everything like that to being able to run consistently from A to Z um, properly with decent air fuel ratios this time around we tweak the air fuel ratios a bit more um, we're doing really really good it's it's reaching out on the top end to like the 10 fives instead of in the 11s but I'm fine with that as it is right now um, I'll lean it out a bit more further down down the road but as it is right now, we left it like that just because we were hoping to creep up the uh, the boost, the higher, um, the higher, uh, basically PSIs, which we didn't end up doing because it was cold last night. It was probably around the five degrees, I would say, and the track was not prepped because it was just a test and tune. There were no like, uh, you know, there was no drag cars, anything like that prior to us running. So there was no glue. It was not sticking, 17 inch rims, not necessarily the best for, for the track. So all I was doing is first gear, I could just not get any traction ever throughout the entire night. I could not activate the two step because I was just spinning. So ultimately, aside from that, like first gear and second gear, the fact that we could not get traction, that's kind of, that's a write off. We're losing tons of time right there. But third and fourth, to be honest, it was really good. Like the boost was creeping up sometimes to like 11 pounds of boost, which is a bit higher than the wastegate spring of 9 PSI. Um, so I'll have to take a look at that. The car should be able to hold it. So it's not necessarily too big of a problem. I just don't want it to creep that much. So I'll have to take a look at that. We did play a bit with the ignition timing. We raised it up by like 0.5 degree across the map from the stock map just to see what it's gonna do. Mark suggested that. And just the 0.5 degree actually made us pick up an additional like four miles per hour, I believe. We trapped like 102, I think, our highest uh, trap time. But nonetheless, our best time yesterday was a 14.4 at 96. When we managed to do 102 miles per hour, so you know, you can definitely see that the conditions were not there, but we made some progress on the car. So like I said, I'm so happy with the tune. The car should be running some 13, so it is right now 9 pounds of boost, or maybe 10 pounds of boost when it's creeping. It should be running in the 13s. But the fact that two-step is not activated, timing, uh, timing is not uh, set, that it's still reaching out on the top end. You know, all of these factors made a lose some time, but again, no major problems no issues we managed to make it there do almost 10 passes make it all the way back home super happy about that i hope that there's going to be enough time to maybe do another track day uh this year not promising anything depending on how the temperature goes but i will try if not there's going to be a few things that we're going to have to do on the car uh throughout the winter order a few little parts and get that ready for next uh for next year so in any case, I hope you guys liked the video. I hope you guys did like the passes from inside the car as well. And if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. 
Make sure that you like and subscribe. It definitely does help me understand if people are liking the channel or not. Make sure that you comment if you have any questions. Again, we're not experts. We learn as we go. I won't keep it too long. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, give it a thumbs up.